Watch you guys, now we've all run into Windows issues at some point in our life and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a refresh Windows 8 i.e. a repair install of Windows 8. Now this doesn't actually delete uh, any of your data, it leaves the data uh, in situ but it will remove any programs that you've installed on the operating system. Okay, now it will give you a list of the uh, programs that it's uh, removed with links to those uh, programs as well and as you'll see that in later on in the video now as I said you may be having issues with your Windows operating system you don't want to do a full uh, rebuild of the operating system i.e. you lose everything and what this is going to allow you to do is be able to get back up and running with uh, some minor disruption to you okay so what we're going to do here is uh, use the, the the actual DVD Windows 8 DVD uh, to do this and there's a couple of ways of going about it but we're going to be using that method so assuming we've got some issues we're going to reboot this system now to our uh, Windows 8 DVD and do a repair install i.e. a refresh Windows 8 okay so I'm going to push enter key here we're going to let this load up Now once we get to this stage we just need to click on the next button and then we're going to come down to where it says repair your computer. Now once we get here you'll see an actual tab on the second one down called troubleshoot and you can see it says refresh and reset your PC or advanced tools. We're going to click on that one there. Now we've got three options open to us and we want to click on the top one which says refresh your PC. Now what it's going to do is give you some bullet points here of some information of what's going to be changed on the operating system if you proceed with this uh, refresh your PC. So we're going to click on next here. You can read this if you wish. It's going to click on next and uh, you should only have one operating system here and we're going to click on Windows 8. Now it's just going to give you the last uh, time to pull out if you wish but it's going to say refresh and as soon as you click on this you're committed to it okay so I'm going to click on this and that's going to start to uh, rebuild the operating system and fix any glitches or issues that you may have had Okay, so that's nearly complete. Now the refreshing part did take some time. I just speeded that part up. Now you don't want to touch the keyboard here at this stage. Just let it go on through. Okay, so we're going to click on this second one here. Okay. Again, don't touch the keyboard. Okay, it's going through the preparing stage here. Now this little part will take a bit of time, okay? So be patient and just let it do its job. reboot it again now don't touch the keyboard again just leave that as it is now this welcome screen may take some time to load okay so don't think it's uh, hung or it's crashed just let it load okay it will take a bit of time okay so it's just finishing off the process now now 
Okay, so there we are back at the Metro interface. You can select what you need to select here. Now if we go to the desktop here, you'll see that it's left the actual image on there which we had. Um, so it's not deleting any data. It le also leaves a little HTML file saying removed applications. And if you open this up, it will tell you the applications that it's uninstalled um, whilst doing the actual uh, refresh of Windows 8. And you can see here, it's give you the actual links to these as well so you can re-download them. If you've got them in your downloads folder, they will be still on the system, okay? So all you need to do here is just get to your downloads folder and you should be good to go and install all of your uh, programs. Okay, I quickly installed Classic Shell there. So I could just quickly show you the actual uh, downloads folder. You can see there's all stuff inside there that's not been touched. And uh, also, if you look in the C root directory, you'll see the recovery part here, and also Windows.old, which automatically gets put on the system uh, once you've done a repair. And you can see all the programs that was on there previously and whatnot. Okay, now you can remove that from the system. But other than that, that's basically how you do a refresh of Windows 8 and how to repair any issues that you've got with your operating system, hopefully, and you should be back up and running. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys, and show your support by rating and favourite all my videos if you enjoyed them. And I'll be making more of useful videos again in the future. So have a great weekend, guys, and I'll be seeing you again real soon. Bye for now.